Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first video after delivering my baby and I am happy to be physically strong enough and have the mental capacity to sit here and film a video. Um, so pretty exciting. Now the makeup I will be uh, reviewing for you guys and demoing today was released almost a month ago, but at the time I naively was thinking, well after I deliver, I think within a week I should be able to just like sit down and film again. Um, physically, it would have been pretty difficult because sitting up, I did have a C-section for my delivery and I think just mentally not being fully present uh, and just focusing on like pain management and learning how to care for a newborn. Yeah, I mean, looking back now, it's like, no, that would have not been possible. So I think some of you guys probably have seen reviews, demos on this already. Um, but when this first was announced or we saw photos online, I remember including it in a Will I Buy video and I was really, really excited about this particular quint. Um, it is from Dior. It is the 659 Mirror Mirror. Love khaki olive greens. This has exactly that. This orange uh, tone here looks fun to play with. And uh, I think like most of your quints, it's gonna be really good quality. Uh, and then in addition, I also picked up one of their new Rouge Dior Forever uh, Transfer Proof Lipstick in the shade Forever Tender 231. And it comes in this matte case. It's pretty cool. And then the shade here is limited edition. Um, I will swatch it for you guys really shortly here, but I just wanted to show you, uh, typically with Dior lipsticks, it comes in this kind of case here, which has that shiny finish versus matte. I like that they do switch things up. And then also for a really good matte liquid transfer proof lipstick um, is this liquid lipstick from Dior, uh, which I have a, uh, wear test video on and truly it is long lasting and almost like nearly a hundred percent transfer proof. I tried um, drinking from a glass, patting it down with a tissue and then just showing the mask that I had been wearing at the time and this really is very long lasting. Um, I will do some swatches just so you guys can see the texture difference here. Um, this one here not being liquid. It's I expect it to be creamy and pigmented like many of Dior's lipsticks. Um, so let me go ahead and swatch the Quint for you. I also have a, another, uh, from a different brand, a quad that is very similar, that is limited edition, which you can no longer get. So if you are interested in seeing what that is, um, stick around, I'll be doing that comparison towards the end. So I have um, four of the shades here. We'll save the lightest one, typically that highlight lid topper shade for last and let's get right into starting with the matte so smooth i'll go in again here just to diffuse it a bit more and then we have the orange metallic green khaki shade lovely and then that kind of Auburn red brown shade, also metallic. And for the last shade here, um, also metallic but a bit grittier. And let me see here, it does have some red undertone to it. Reflective quality, you can see it as it's shifting. It wasn't so apparent before I went in, but now that I've gone in, um, I definitely see that. And it's to go with the warm undertones of this overall color story. Uh, and of course, it's very, very fall appropriate. So let's get into um, a look. Taking this green shade here, I am packing that right above the lash line. Very pretty, just slides right on. And then taking this orange shade here, I am putting that above the green and placing that also onto the crease. 
And then I'm taking the center shade here and putting it into the outer corner. Just gonna go in and further blend this orange shade a bit more, so it looks a bit more seamlessly on the lid. Then we're gonna take this shade here and just place it tightly above the lash line. And then we're bringing it to the lower lash line as well. Using one of my favorite brushes for this kind of thing, this is the O3 from Refer. We're taking this here, this lid topper, and we're putting it into the inner corner and bringing it down to brighten this area up. And I do need some brightening. Um, I think, you know, I'm getting a good amount of sleep for having a newborn in the home, but I, I still could use more. I'm easily fatigued. And so I definitely need some brightening in the eye area. Okay, so I would actually like to see this a bit more concentrated on the lower lash line. So I'm taking a different brush here. Let's see. I'm just gonna take the Pencil Pro from Sonia G. And going over the area. Okay, let me repeat this look on the other side and then we'll get into lipstick, uh, blush, and highlighter. Since this is a Dior video, I wanted to take out more Dior products to use. Um, it's been a while. I'm going to take their Powder No Powder. This is for all over face finishing powder, but it can also be used to set your makeup. Um, I am 1N neutral, but I think no, I want a neutral even during the summer months, but I could go a little bit deeper if I wanted to. Um, I haven't been outside too much. Um, I think for experienced moms here, I don't think that's a surprise. I, I'm really excited that later this week we'll be, you know, going out to have some dinner. That's the first time we'll be doing something that's non errands related or appointments related. So, um, yes, I'm just going to put that lightly all over the face. And this is scented, by the way, so if that's something that you don't like, I just want you to be aware. But this gives a very soft glow. It works well with um, oily or combination skin. I think it works fine with dry skin, too. And if you do have oily or combo skin, I find that it doesn't add to the oiliness, but it gives you, it smooths the look out and it gives you this nice, subtle, reflective sheen to it. And if you guys recall um, Chanel's Camellia kind of all over face highlighter powder, I like to use that all over the face, but you can, I think it's more meant to be used as a highlighter, but I like it all over the face because it is subtle too. This is more, this is subtler than that. And this is truly or was formulated to be used all over the face. Um, it also helps with oil control as well. For blush, I'm going to use Coral Flight. It is very bright, but I'm going to use this brush here. It has this nice angle. And I find that with really bright shades, it doesn't pick up too much product. And you'll see what I mean. I, I dabbed it twice here. It just glides it on really softly and you can see there's a little bit of color and you can go back for more so if you're afraid that you're going to get too much product on right away and maybe it's gonna mess up with placement it's hard to correct afterwards I would say this brush has definitely helped a lot with that For highlighter, I'm taking the Dior Forever Couture Luminizers. This is in Golden, what is it, Golden Glow. And this is not limited edition. So it's part of their regular line. And I figure we do something a little bit warmer for highlighter. 
Okay, we're gonna head towards the lipstick here. Uh, let me swatch that real quick. Um, let me take one out to compare, but I'll first swatch the matte lipstick. Whoops, I got some on the on the swatch here, but that's liquid matte, and when it dries down, it truly will be matte, just as it appears through here. And this is a satin lipstick from Dior. So you can see it's creamier, it has more, it looks slicker. And I haven't put this on my lips, so I'm not gonna say, but I have a feeling this is gonna be slicker in comparison, more emollient in comparison. And then while we're at it, let me show you the other Dior lipsticks, uh, the other textures. So we have a velvet matte here. Velvet matte. Uh, by the way, this shade is 720 Icon Velvet. Uh, Icon Velvet is um, the velvet matte texture. And then this here is 241 Pink Sakura. This is actually limited edition. And then we have the liquid matte lipstick is 200. I think this is forever. I think this is forever dream right here, but I'll have all of the products below too. So if you are interested in the shade, um, I'll have that information so you can check it out. And then finally we have a matte finish in 625 Mitza. And so this is matte Mitza icon velvet matte uh, i think this is forever dream liquid matte and then we have um i think this is tender forever tender okay so this is in the shade tender which we haven't put on yet and then here is pink sakura which is a satin all right let's get that lipstick on Okay, so I have the lipstick on, this is tender, and it does look quite bright, especially now with the studio lighting on it. Um, I will say, I did go off camera after applying it for the first time because I had some uh, skin that I need to remove. So this formula, right away I can tell that you do need to exfoliate your lips. Um, if you do tend to have dry lips, um, you do need to exfoliate because it can, just really highlight all of that skin texture. And so you want a smooth surface. Probably you might even consider putting concealer over the lips to smooth everything out even further to apply. Because if I come up close, you can see some of it is not quite as smooth. And when I put my lips together, it's pretty tacky. And I feel like that's part of the transfer proof formula that it stays, you know, it's kind of dry, a little bit tacky because it's just going to be like, supposed to be like on your lips. And I feel that because for that reason, you might have a hard time getting a very smooth application. The shade I really like, this is exactly what I thought it might be just looking at photos. Um, so the shade I really like, but just the way it looks on my lips right now, it, it needs a little bit more work. I think I'm going to go back afterwards with a lip brush and try to smooth things out a little bit. A little bit um, surprising, maybe a little bit disappointing even, actually. I've never had issues with Dior lipsticks, but this one is a little surprising. Um, it could be the shade, too, that is making any any gaps really apparent because of this brightness um yeah i'll i'll try it on a few more times and give you guys an update uh, on, on how this goes and for the last part of the video uh, i mentioned earlier i wanted to compare mirror mirror to a different palette because i thought the two were similar i'm going to hold them side by side it's this quad here from Suku called Saegi, it was released or launched last fall as part of their limited collection. And you guys can see the similarities. Um, we have that green here. This is a brighter green than this one. This is matte, this is metallic, but it has a very similar idea. Um, this kind of burnished red here is comparable to this, uh, maybe an in-between shade of these two. And this has more of a, um, 
it might not look like it, but it's a brighter shade in person. The color looks a little bit brighter. You can see some brown and orange in it. And it's not as bright as this, but it kind of calls to that a little bit. And then we have this light lid topper here. And then we have that lid topper. Uh, this is even lighter. Uh, actually, this has more pigment than this one. So let me do some swatches and you guys can see them side by side. So I have the four shades. Let's start with the deepest. Then we'll go with the kind of brick brown, red, orange shade, the green. And then the lid topper. This is more golden, warmer, more yellow. And this is more champagne-like with that kind of red, pink, reflective quality or undertone. But you can see it's the same idea, the two. So if you had missed this quad from Suku and you're like, this is really beautiful, I'm really interested, I would look into this Quint from Dior. I think it's really beautiful. You do get a brighter orange here. But if you want to play around and mix some of these shades, like maybe these three, until you get something closer to this. You can, uh, but obviously this is a matte. These three are mattes, whereas this is um, mostly full of metallic, so something to be aware of. But this shade is matte from Dior. And what's interesting about this quint here is the price. I think typically Dior quints are about $65 US. Somehow these fall quints are $44 each. Uh, I haven't checked the website recently to see if that's changed, but if it hasn't, I, I think that's interesting, but a good thing. Um, so if that might be a deciding factor for you, uh, hopefully that was useful as well. And then finally I did, because I have this out, uh, this is actually from their latest collection called, uh, it's 09 Kaori Kaze, also from Suku. They have this green here that I just want to quickly swatch. I know it's not gonna be that similar. Yeah, it's much deeper, more like a forest green or swamp green compared to this khaki. And this, being that it's um, metallic, it has like a nice gold tone to it. It's really, really pretty. It is a really pretty green. I mean, the whole quad is pretty. So I quite like the quad. The lipstick, while I like the shade, is just, I don't think it's gonna work out. Um, it's dried down now, and it really doesn't have any tackiness, actually. I really, really like this quint. It's beautiful. The lipstick, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna work out. I like the shade, but I mean, it's completely dried down now. So it does have a matte finish, and any tackiness that I noticed before, no. That was just the process of it completely drying down, and it's no longer tacky anymore. It's not sticky, and it's just on the lips, and I think it's not gonna transfer, but you do have to put in more work to get a smooth application, which can be challenging with um, deep shades and brighter shades like this. All right, well, I'm so glad that I got to be able to sit here today to film a video. It takes my mind off of all the other things. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. I do have some pre-filmed content that I'll be kind of trickling into the channel, but I'm just taking it slow right now. Um, love to continue to talk to you guys as I'm able to on YouTube and Instagram. I'll also be posting updates on my community tab. So I'm not sure how many people actually check the community messages, but I do post um, new releases, deals, and other updates on there as well. So if you haven't already, Go to the community tab of my channel to check it out. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.